friends this is arpita and you're watching my channel arpita brijesh in my today's video i'm going to explain you about the hardware features of a 8051 with a neat internal block diagram so when you are asked this question you need to write this answer so first you can see this is a architecture of a 8051 you need to draw this and then i'm going to give you some points you need to write which explains about the hardware features of a 8051 so here you can see first one is the hardware features of a 8051 microcontroller are given below so i have listed some of the hardware features of a microcontroller architecture you can just go through it so here whatever processing unit we have in a microcontroller that is 8 bit so there is a 8 bit cpu and next one is there is a on chip clock oscillator so there is a on chip clock oscillator so the next one is 4 kilobytes of internal program mem memory is there that means it is a space where a code memory is stored or you can simply call it as a rom internal rom it is of 4 kilobytes next is space where the internal data memory is stored or Uh, space where a internal data memory can be stored that is of 128 bytes or simply you can call it as a ram or you can also call it as a data memory rom you call it as a code memory so next you have 6 64 kilobytes of external program memory address space so that is a extendable uh, extendable address uh, space or you can say external rom and external ram is 64 kilobytes so ram and rom extendable are same so next we have 32 bit by direct sorry 32 by directional input output lines we have 32 input output lines that can be used as 4 8 bit ports in the sense 8 fours are 32 8 each uh, 8 lines can be used for a port 0 you can see here so for port 0 you can use 8 lines and for this port 1 you can use 8 lines and for this port you can use 8 lines and for this port 3 you can use 8 lines so you have 32 bi directional input output lines which can be used as a 4 8 bit ports or just 32 individually addressable input output lines so individually each line can also be used as an addressable input output lines next we have two 16 bit timer counter we have Two, the sorry, eighty fifty one has a two sixteen bit timer counter, which is T zero and T one, which is denoted by T zero and T one. Next, we have uh, that is a uh, microcontroller has full duplex serial data, that is receiver and transmitter. It has full duplex serial data, receiver and transmitter, and it has four register banks. You can see we have written here, which I will explain here. We have four register bank. that is bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 so these are register banks so what is register banks so there are four register banks with eight registers in each bank so we have four register bank register 0 register 1 register 2 and register 3 and in each bank we have again eight registers so it is a bank of a registers so such banks we have four next 16 bit program counter that is program counter is 16 bit and a Uh, there is a 16 bit data pointer which we call it as dptr so there is a 16 bit program counter as well as a program data pointer next we have a 8 bit program status word so which represents the status of a program that is of 8 bit and bit, which is denoted as psw and next there is a 8 bit stack pointer in the 8051 architecture so next there is a five vector interrupt structure which is this, but here we cannot consider reset as an interrupt so next is 8051 cpu consists of 8 bit alu with associated register uh, registers like accumulators a and b registers psw sp 16 bit pc this we have already discussed in the last uh, section where we were differentiating microprocessor with microcontroller uh, so next ALU can perform arithmetic and logical functions on 8 bit variables so what can ALU do what is a hardware or the unit ALU can perform ALU can perform arithmetic and logical functions on 8 bit variables only it can perform arithmetic on 8 bit so next 8051 has 128 bytes of internal ram 
which we have already seen and this 128 bytes of ram internal ram is divided into working registers bit addressable memory area and general purpose memory area so working register starts from 0 0 to 1 f and bit addressable memory area starts from 20 to 2 f and general purpose memory area is from 30 to 7 f so this complete space is collectively 128 bytes of internal ram so the next feature are uh, features are 8051 has 4 kilobytes of internal ROM. So we have seen this also. So the internal ROM of 8051 is 4 kilobytes and the address space is from 000 to 0 0FFFH. If the program size is more than this 4 kilobytes of internal RAM, then 8051 will fetch the code automatically from the external memory. So we know that we have uh, the 8051 has 64 uh, kilobytes of ex external uh, RAM and as well as 64 kilobytes of external ROM also. So accumulator is an 8-bit register widely used for all arithmetic and logical operations and accumulator is also used to transfer data between external memory. And we have B register which is used along with accumulator for multiplication and division. And A and B registers together is also called math registers. So the next point PSW that is uh, it is an 8-bit register which contains the arithmetic status of uh, arithmetic logic unit and the bank select bits of register banks. So here it is an 8-bit you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So where this bit CY it will give you a carry flag It's a uh, that indicates about a carry auxiliary carry it is a mid carry we say auxiliary carry flag and this is FO available to the user for a general purpose and next RS1 and RS0 those bits are the register bank select bits next is overflow and parity so these you will learn in detail when it comes to a pin diagram next is stack pointer stack pointer it contains the address of the data item on the top of the stack so you must have uh, read about a stacking so when we, so this stack pointer it will give you the status or it contains the address of the data item on the top of the stack stack may reside anywhere on the internal ram on reset stack pointer is initialized to 07 so that the default stack will start from 08 onwards so next is data pointer dptr so where we have two kind the dph which is called as a data pointer higher byte and another one is dpl which we call it as a data pointer lower byte this is a 16 bit 8 bit for higher 8 bit for lower this is a 16 bit register which is used to furnish address information means this dptr will provide address information for internal and external program memory or for external data memory so the next one program counter which is also of 16 bit pro, uh, program counter contains the address of next instruction to be executed and on reset program counter will set to 000 and after fetching every instruction program counter will be incremented by 1. So friends these were about the hardware features of a 8051 architecture and if you uh, draw this uh, diagram uh, or you can just draw this internal block diagram of a 8051 which is about a uh, uh, and write these points a uh, few points about how it works or what this architecture of 8051 will mean so this is enough to fetch 10 marks and it was it had appeared in the last year question paper hope this is helpful to you and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you're watching for the first time so that you can keep uh, connected to us with my future videos. Thank you for watching.